Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you the referrals and marketing features in Class Juggler and how helpful the, this can be for tracking your promotions and advertising. Referrals and marketing is a great feature to use for tracking the success of customer referral programs or for tracking how well your marketing dollars are paying off. You can gather this marketing intelligence by setting up referral and marketing codes for all of the advertising you do and the promotions you offer. In order to use referral and marketing tracking, you must first set up at least one item on the referrals and marketing preference screen. From my demo account, I'm going to go to preferences from the blue main menu. And then optional preferences. And then I'm going to go to my referrals and marketing. You can see that I already have five different marketing codes set up on this table. Adding additional codes is easy. I will add a code for the Greenville Parent Magazine that I have recently advertised in. So I'm going to go down to row 6 and put in a display order of 60. I'm going to put in my Greenville Parent Magazine. I do have limited space so when I go to the description I can finish magazine. Then I'm going to save my changes. There's also one special option on this screen that allows me to hide selected referral and marketing codes from customers. I might use this feature when I have a special code that only me or my staff can add to a customer's account. I can also delete a marketing code from this preference page if they are no longer being used. Referrals and marketing can be tracked in two different ways in Class Juggler. The first way is by an administrator from the Customer Maintenance Page 2 screen. From this screen, you can manually select one of the codes you set up in the preference table to indicate how a customer was referred or which marketing campaign brought you that new customer. So let's go to our customers from our main menu and the list customers. I'm going to click on Grace Bixby for our example. I'm going to then click on the maintenance page 2 from the sidebar menu to get to the screen where I can manage referrals and marketing. So clicking this Edit Referrals button opens up a management window for me to set the appropriate code. So up here I'm going to select the new uh, parent magazine that I just entered into our preference screen. And then I'm going to save my changes. I could add comments, uh, name, or notes. I'm just going to keep it like this. And so now in the Referrals and Marketing Tracking, we have Greenville Parent Magazine as code that they used when they joined the business. The second way to collect this information is by far the most efficient. You can enable the Customer Portal to ask customers during their registration how they learned about your business. Marketing and referrals this way are automatically added to a customer's record when they register. So let's take a look at how this works. First, we need to configure our customer portal to enable the referrals and marketing question. So I'm going to go to our tools from the blue main menu and then select customer portal manager from the sidebar menu. And then I'm going to click on the family customer information tab in the third section of this screen. In this tab, you'll see the on off setting toward the bottom of the customer page options section. Changing this option to on enables this feature in our portal and allows customers to select how they heard about your business when they register. Make sure that you save your changes. So I'm going to click on on and then save changes. So let's go through an example customer portal registration so you can see how the customer would select and respond to the referral information question. First, I'm going to go to the customer portal sign in screen. I'm going to click on Register Now to create a new account for my sample customer, Jennifer Mays. And in Step 4, this is where your customer can respond to the question, How did you hear about our business? They can only select the option that applies to them from the list of responses we built under the Preference screen. I'm going to click Driving by the Business Location. You can add any referrals or notes if she wants to. And then click on create my account. Once a customer has registered, there are two ways you can review the information you are gathering through referrals and marketing. 
The first is by looking at the information on the customer record by visiting the customer maintenance page 2 for their response. The second way is by running the referrals and marketing report. So let's take a quick look at the new customer record we just registered for Jennifer Mays and see the referral and marketing selection she made. So I'm going to go back to customers. I'm going to click on Jennifer Mays. And from the sidebar menu, I'm going to go to maintenance page two. And we can look at the referrals and marketing tracking. And here it's driving by the business location. Finally, let's take a look at the referrals and marketing report Class Juggler offers you. So I'm going to go to reports from the Blue Bay menu. And I'm going to click on customer reports from the sidebar menu. And down at the bottom is the referrals and marketing report. The referrals and marketing tracking report displays standard customer information for the selected group of customers along with referral and marketing information for each customer. To run this report, you want to first select a status from the drop-down selector, either all or a specific status. Then you want to select a customer category, either all or a specific. And the same with the payment group, either all payment groups or a specific payment group. Then you optionally have um, a choice to enter a telephone prefix and or a zip code to narrow your customer search. You also have the option to add a beginning and an end date to track items recorded between the two dates. And you also have the option to choose additional report or print options to limit the customer selected for this report. And then you can choose your sort subtotal option. You can select to uh, simply sort by customer last name, or you can sort and group the report by status, category, and name with subtotals. I'm going to leave it just as it is, and I'm going to generate the report. Then we can view the details of this report. So I have two pages, and it shows how each customer uh, was referred to our business uh, and the date they did so. This concludes the webinar on referrals and marketing tracking in Class Juggler. I hope this webinar has shown you how you can keep track of all referrals and marketing that your business had, has invested in.